much better camera now. I was using my phone and now that I'm back in Chicago, I have my camera. Today is the first day of classes. I just had my first Zoom class. It was my psychology class and then later I have my animation class. It's kind of weird being back, but I really love the winter weather. It's snowing outside, it's beautiful. I was thinking what I want to do with this channel and I thought of a really good idea. I think throughout my vlogs, I want to take moments within them to reflect and kind of have somewhat of like a lesson out of what's going on in my life and something that I can teach to others. Um, it's just an idea. I don't really have specifics yet, but I think it's a little boring just to like show you what I'm doing every day just because I'm at home going to school, not really doing much. So I think what you can expect is a lot of mindfulness talk. I also really want to talk about books I read and have discussions about that. And I would also love to hear from everyone watching this. I just want to learn as much as possible about other people and perspectives and I think that is so important especially today. You know things are super hard right now for everybody. You know COVID's happening. There's just so much going on and I think one thing that we can all control is our understanding of others and I think by starting conversations through outlets such as YouTube and you know creative outlets it's a great way to understand more about each other and you know the more perspective you gain the more understanding of a person you can become and the more understanding you are you know the better person you can be and the better you can communicate with others and I think that it's just so important so that's my little spiel but anyway I'm very happy to have this camera now it's much better quality as you can tell and my next class starts at 1 30 and is currently 11 18 and I'm starving so I'm gonna go make some food
this sign before. It's so foggy. There's a party up there. Hi everyone, it's me. So today, um, I just had class. So pretty soon I'm gonna be living all by myself. My first time living alone. I'm pretty nervous, but I'm a little excited. But today I just need to go grocery shopping and do some homework. And tonight I'm gonna make myself a nice dinner in the crock pot. So hopefully I'll take you guys with me for the rest of my week and hopefully it will be lovely. humidifier I got one because it's super super dry here in Chicago and my nose it like hurts so bad and it's like cracking and bleeding and yeah here she is it's a cute one it looks pretty I'm excited to use this this is when you know you're an adult when you get excited to get a humidifier in the mail Tonight, I am making chicken pot pie soup. Ooh, that sounds really yummy. And I found this thing at Trader Joe's. So like all soups basically like require like celery, onions, and carrots. Yeah. But like I don't use those things separately besides onions. And they had this like thing with celery, onions, and carrots already cut up. Ooh. skated in over a year and it feels so weird. I don't know if it's just the ice or me or both, but yeah, the ice isn't completely frozen, but I could definitely still like skate backwards and oh, it's so weird. So I'm at my boyfriend's house this weekend because um, we go to church together on Sundays and it's closer to his place. I went skating yesterday and I didn't really film anything else because we didn't do much. But right now I'm kind of redesigning my logo. It kind of sucks because I already made business cards with the current logo that I have and everything, but I think I could still change it up. I'm basically doing the same little house, but um, just making it kind of more rough and like looking more like a sketch. So I'm doing that, then I have to put this in in my newest video, and then I'm probably gonna upload that today, and that's actually gonna be my first video. Hello, it is Wednesday. It is really cold outside. It's 18 degrees, which is the coldest it's been all winter. I know for Chicago people that's not that cold, but I'm from California, so this is very cold. For me. So this is my outfit, uh, not the most flattering, but it will keep me warm. And I have to go to Target, and I have class later today. I might go to the art store and get some yarn, um, because I am in the process of making a sweater. Let's go. I have so much reading. I really want to clean, 
but I think I'm gonna get this reading out of the way and then do what I can tonight. I'm using my new pants. They are so pretty. I love them. They're like black on the outside and copper on the inside. But I made dinner. Um, I made chicken piccata and just some corn. I feel like my content is just getting so boring because I decided to open up the camera and let all of you know that I got a new rug for my kitchen. That's the level of excitement that we have come to. I just got out of the shower, so I'm like super shiny and my hair is wet and whatever. So I was talking earlier about how my roommate is moving out and I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit more about that and how I'm feeling about that. I am terrified. <laughs> I have never lived alone before. This is a very new experience and I'm very used to being around people a lot. Even during quarantine and stuff, I was with my parents and then when I moved back, I was obviously with my roommate and now I live alone and it's exciting but scary. I joined a small group at my church and um, I talked a little bit about living alone there and I'm really hoping it will help me kind of not to be so lonely and to make friends and have people to talk to because especially with quarantine and everything I'm obviously not on campus for school so I'm hoping through that and through my sorority I can meet some people and be a part of some community. School has been really hard lately. Um, I'm taking some difficult classes that require lots of reading and writing, and they're not classes for my major. They're classes that everyone has to take to graduate, so it's a little hard to pay attention and have the motivation to do the work. I've always lived in a big city my whole life, but now that I'm in Chicago instead of LA, I'm directly in the middle of all of it in LA. I was, you know, living in a neighborhood. It was still in the city, but it was more secluded and it felt a little more homey and not so busy. I really like Chicago, but I think lately it's been hard for me to enjoy being here while I am here because I don't know how much longer I will be here for. And, you know, I obviously want to graduate from school and stuff, so I'll probably be here through that, but. Who knows where I will go after that. I am in school for animation right now and it's a really big passion that I have. As you can see, I try to include little animations throughout my videos. I really don't want to live in California really ever again. I don't really know how to explain it right now, my battery's about to die, but I just don't really think it's the place I need to be. And it's a little tricky because a lot of animation stuff is in Los Angeles. But those are some of my thoughts. I've been trying hard to talk to people and meet new people. And I think it's going okay so far. And I started making these videos because I think it's a great pastime. And I think looking back on these, it will be really great to see how I was during this time. So yeah, those are my thoughts for the night. Um, I'm gonna go to bed soon because I would like to wake up early. Um, I've been trying to do that, but it's been really hard. So I'm gonna get to bed and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.